Can we start off? This is based on a book, but yeah. it's a loose adaptation of a book, sure. a sort of reinvention. Did you actually read the book? What's your first sort of introduction? I to read this like book? a part way through it and I was told that it has really nothing to do with the book. I mean, it's, it's the genre, but there's uh, not too much going on in there, so, for our story, so I just sort of stopped after that. It didn't seem, I mean, it didn't seem relevant to what we were doing, to be totally honest. I mean, those scripts we read were so specific, and Ian has his own voice. I've worked with him on a couple of different things, and he really brought his own voice to these scripts, so once you immerse yourself in his writing, it didn't really seem necessary to go and check what was what, and it was this in the book, is it not? It wasn't that type of thing, you know? And I, like I, I, was, I was saying over there, I mean, we were, I got cast like pretty late in the game, and there wasn't a lot of time to, to do that for me anyway, but no. Yeah. I'm a big tea drinker, so this gives a whole new oh, yeah. meaning to tea Two bags. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that was my nickname on the, the set. <laughs> Two bags, excuse me. So can you talk a little bit how, you know, this series has personally influenced you? Maybe that your senses have been heightened, so, you know, maybe your paranoia has been heightened. I mean, for me, I wouldn't say that's my takeaway from doing something like this. I was really excited just by the whole process of the show. Some shows you do work and some shows you do don't. And this one had all the elements that we all got along really well. By the end, it felt like a summer camp kind of vibe. And we were all sequestered in Georgia all together doing this crazy show, which was a really challenging show to make. But it was a really fun show to do. So I, I don't know. I was just really happy. I'm, it's hard for all the elements to come together. And on this one, they really felt like they did. So that was, it was exciting for me. Same thing I would pig piggyback off of Scott here. Is it uh, just working with everybody, you know, having a good time? Even though the subject's a bit dark, you know, we still have a wonderful time. And um, has it affected? Not really. Just, just, just the sense of just having a boss making the film. So you mentioned about the darkness of the show. What's it like doing a, you know, this kind of horror-esque, kind of spooky kind of show? Like, is it hard to act where you're always like intense? Sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. We had a lot of laughs on the set, so when it gets too serious, you know, yeah. they're always busting jokes. It kind of lightens the mood, but uh, for me, no, no, not so much. About doing dark, yeah, I mean, it is dark, but there was a lot of times, of, yeah, it was a lot of levity, a lot of fun, I mean, we all were out at this farm hanging out and having a good time, and you kind of sort of, by the end, you were so immersed in the story, and you understood your character, especially in episodes six, seven, and eight, and you understood what was going on, you'd be doing this super intense scene during the, you know, the take, and then be laughing for two minutes between, and then jumping back in, and being able to vacillate between the two things. So I think that's probably from working a lot and doing a lot. You try not to take this kind of stuff home, and I think it actually lends itself better to the, to the project. So how do you get into the mindset of your characters for this production? Uh, it's the actors. I mean, working with Scott and Yvonne, all the cast, uh, you know, it's helping you believe in that situation and believe in the characters. It's just the writing, it's all that. And just the prep, what I usually do is I make a, uh, like a playlist for certain songs that tap into emotions. A lot of the times it's not, it has nothing to do with the scene whatsoever. And I, I do my own homework, but when you come in for a collaboration like this, it just, it's just a fun project to do, and we all pulled it off. Yeah, I don't know, prep-wise, I mean, it was, uh, you know, playing a very, very, very average guy, you know, so it wasn't a lot of stretch that way for me, a family man, a father, it works at the local high school. It was kind of just, you know, getting the character together and then jumping in with two feet and, like, you know, letting the writing and the directing sort of help you along as you go. So there wasn't a ton of prep on that. Well, you're, you're both, I mean, no strangers to thrillers as well as gothic horror, kind of. Um, getting into this genre of horror, how, how was it for you as far as the preparation compared to other genres? I mean, for me, it's really not that much different. I mean, you know, if you're doing something lighter on television, you go and, like, sort of just try to have fun, not think about it too much. And on this one, really, honestly, when it goes back to the writing, and, and, and the, when I read those first three, first three episodes, I knew that this was had the right tone and feel and vibe of the show, so that part was done. I mean, as long as we had competent directors to get that sort of tone and feel on screen, we were going to be in good shape. But it's my favorite, when this genre works, I think that's why we're all here, not just at this table, but at this convention, it kind of flies off the screen, and you know, it can be really audience friendly. When it doesn't, it's always disappointing, and I really felt like these scripts really had that sort of weird element where it was like, wow, if we can get this on screen, it's going to work really well. So what would you say were your favorite moments from filming? 
Was Ooh. anything that really stood out? Oh, I would. Oh, I mean, the stuff that was my favorite was. I mean, we had to ride horses. Yeah, we had to learn how to ride horses. <laughs> <laughs> they, they told me about I was riding a horse, and I, before I drove from LA to Atlanta, and before I left, I was like, "This is Ian." I was like, "It's a horse thing." He's like, "No, it's not a big deal." And then, so I drove there, and by the time I got there, something had happened because it became a very big deal. Where I found myself like shooting twelve hours, and then we were doing a lot of night shoots sleeping from seven to 10 and then driving two hours to go like do a hour and a half horse lesson. It was like a whole ordeal, but I love that. And we got to do some horse stuff, which was really cool and fun. And, and that part of it was great. And some of the other fun stuff is like later in the series, I'm not allowed, I've been sworn yeah, to secrecy, yeah. <laughs> but they are the more dramatic, really emotional, really painful parts of the show, but they were really, they all just went really well. So I'm. Is excited that you guys probably saw the first two, three, four episodes, but really the show sort of takes off yeah. as, as we go into five, six, seven, eight. It just gets crazier and wilder and wilder. So I'm excited for people to see that. Yeah, thank you. Well, uh, as I understand it, James Wan is one of the executive producers. Yeah. James Wan is one of the yes, executive yes, producers. Yes, I think so. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was he hands on? Did he put his uh, imprint on the show? Did the, the, the show uh, that apply some no. of his. Uh, he was not hands on. This was the was Ian's show. He was definitely. You know, around to give notes and think about it and talk about. It. I'm sure Ian and had it and him had a really good relationship. But you know, this was this was really you know Ian's baby from the beginning. So we'll see. Did he come to set? I, I, I didn't. I didn't see him. Okay. Can you guys talk about the dynamic between your two characters? Because it's a oh, I mean, are we allowed to talk about the dynamic? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, we have a we have a, a we are, we are forced. We are. We are not on the same page no, at the beginning of the, sh of the show at all. I've, I've been a bad boy and been a bad boy to him, and that comes that comes back to haunt me. But we're forced to kind of work together, and we have to. And uh, him being the badass that he is is pretty intimidating. Nothing like what I am in real life. <laughs> well, that's the fun part. He's a goofball. He's yeah. like, well, I have the best time, and then we get on a horse, and he's looking at me. And I'm like, is this guy going to kick this shit out of me? So that part was really fun. I mean, it's, it was a lot to play there, and like, that's what uh, you're always looking for. Is there enough in this scene to get you through the scene? You know, is the writer set up and the director set up enough for you guys to have this dynamic that's going to be, you know, jump through the screen? And it, it was really there, so that was fun. Yeah, it was fun working with Scott. It was just great working throwing the ball yeah. back and forth with him. And what are you most excited? One last question. What are you most excited for, sort of horror fans, to see with this? How scary does it go? And for non-horror fans, I'm probably, well. you know, for me, I mean, I mean, I, I'll just for me, I'm, I'm, like I was saying earlier, I'm excited that the genre elements came into play, and like whatever happens, happens yeah, as we go from five, six, seven into eight. But really, I really believe that the audience is going to be blown away by how emotional the show gets, and how rooted in these characters, and how much they care about the characters, as well as the genre elements. I think that's going to be the thing that people really take away from. Yeah. It's more character driven. I'm a character. How scary does it get? Pretty scary. Yeah. I, I think guys are going to like it. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's all there. That's mm -hmm. all there. Mm -hmm.